Welcome back to Down to 60. Today, let's head down to Lauderdale by the sea, also considered the shore diving capital of Florida. Now, aside from the weather, your biggest challenge will be parking. The beach access parking lots do have rinse showers, but they go fast. It's busiest on weekends, holidays, and on incoming tide near high tide, which is the ideal time to dive here. Worst case scenario, you may need to drop your gear near the beach, find a public parking lot, and walk your beautiful self back. So gear up and walk across the beach to the water, then mask and fin up. Most people start south of the pier and end their dive right around it. It's also a great landmark for keeping your bearings. And don't forget your dive flag. Swimming out, you'll find three reef lines that run parallel to shore, the first one being 100 yards out, the second at 200 yards, and the last one 300 yards. They are 15, 20, and 25 feet deep, respectively. The last third of the pier actually sticks out into the first reef line to give you a reference point. Now, believe me when I tell you the reefs and the inhabitants will not disappoint. This is excellent for first-time shore divers, classes, and anyone wanting a nice, inexpensive way to dive a real coral reef. 